Today we'll be highlighting Path Point South Santa Barbara County Division. We'll be talking with Cynthia Burton, CEO and President of Path Point. We'll also be talking with Elena Walzak, who is the Vice President and Director of Path Point's South Santa Barbara County Division. Let's start our spotlight. Well, thank you, Cindy, for joining us today. I wanted to start off by asking you, what is the mission of PathPoint? PathPoint's mission is to provide comprehensive training and support services to people with disabilities or economic disadvantages that empower them to become uh, workers and live in their own communities. And when was PathPoint founded? We started right here in Santa Barbara in 1964. Since that time, we've expanded into five counties, actually, still headquartered here in Santa Barbara, but we're in San Luis Obispo, both North and South Santa Barbara County, Ventura, LA, and Kern counties. Wow. We were also visiting Path Point El Carrillo building. Can you tell me about where we are today? As we're sitting here talking, we are in our community access program in Santa Barbara. Our CAP program is designed to help people with very severe disabilities basically maintain their health and maintain their skills rather than many of our programs are training people for a future in employment, etc. These are folks that live in 24-hour um, care and if they didn't come to a program like CAP, would quickly lose the skills that they have. So their sensory skills, their motor skills are maintained here at CAP. How can our viewers find out more about PathPoint? Well, we have a website, www.pathpoint.org. Uh, we have a Facebook page, so you can search for uh, PathPoint in Facebook. And we uh, have in both those places the opportunity to sign up for a monthly email contact that gives you just the latest information about PathPoint. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much, Cindy, for giving our viewers a wonderful overview of PathPoint. And I know next up we'll be talking with Elena, who will be speaking uh, more specifically on the programs in the Santa Barbara County Division. That's right. Stay Thanks. tuned. Well, thank you, Elena, for joining us today. Of course. And I was wondering if you could tell us about the programs offered by PathPoint in the South Santa Barbara County area. Sure. We actually offer a pretty diverse array of services, um, independent living services, as well as community access services and employment services. So within each of those three categories, there's actually multiple different program areas. Sure. Um, today, we're meeting in one of our community access programs. Um, we actually have four, also known as day programs. Okay. And these are programs that really help, it depends, each program is designed for a different population, slightly different, um, but really helping folks um, here in this particular program, it's a lot of sensory stimulation. It's primarily um, for individuals with moderate to severe physical disabilities and really engaging them in sensory stimulation, therapeutic activities, accessing the community, hence okay. the name, Community Access Project. And then we have three other community programs that are really more pre-vocational, helping okay. individuals gain some vocational training in preparation to move into employment services. That's fantastic sounding program. How many people would you say are part of that program? Employment in yeah. particular? I think there's about 300 or so folks in a given fiscal year that come through the employment services okay. program. And some of those individuals also receive services perhaps in our independent living or our residential program. So they might be getting services at home sure. and then also working with us to gain employment. How can our viewers go about lending support to PathPoint? What types of community uh, partners are you looking for and how might someone who's interested in volunteering or lending uh, support yeah, that's uh, a great do that? Question. <laughs> um, we actually are in the South Santa Barbara County area just starting to try to really further develop our volunteer program and we are looking for volunteers and interns great. in all pro program aspects. So if people were able to access the website or contact our program, our main program office, we could connect them with 
the program that was of most interest to them. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Elena, for You're joining welcome. us today. We're actually going to have someone uh, very special coming up. Uh, in just a minute. Can you tell me more about it? Sure. You're going to be speaking with Nicole, who is a long-standing program participant of ours, who has been in several different program areas. She had been receiving uh, independent living supports, and um, those ended because she graduated from needing those supports, and she just now lives fully independently. But she also receives supports through our individual supported employment program and um, through that she receives job coaching services from our trained staff and she's actually been employed here at this location at one of our day programs starting out as a an mobility assistant mobility aide and recently a few years back she was promoted to a full-time direct support professional she's still receiving coaching services from us in order to do so but she's been working at this program since 1996, I believe. Wow. So just really a tremendous success story and yeah, fantastic. a great woman to meet. So I'm glad you're getting to talk to her. Well, we'll be lucky to speak with her. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Well, thank you, Nicole, for being with us today. Can you start out by telling our viewers how you got involved with PathPoint? Oh, after I graduated from Davro, Davro I moved into PFS place called Project First Step, and then I was at also at the Milpa State Program, so I lived there. Somebody recommended this after I graduated from Devro, mm -hmm. and in 96, I started working at CAP, and I was at, I've been working at CAP for like 14 years so far. And, Congratulations. And in 2008, I became an instructor, which was really good. That's a big leap. Can you talk to me about... Uh, your work as an instructor and what it is that you do uh, at PathPoint today? Well, when I first started, I start off as a mobility aid. I would meet them on the outings. The van would show up and I would take the participants out of the van and then push them on the outing or we would take walks and stuff or we'd go to parks and shopping and stores and museums and Fun. all kinds of places, the beach and all that. And then when I became an instructor, I started doing more heavy duty stuff and I started like doing the lifting and the changing and Oh wow. Okay. I started helping the instructors with that. I started teaching classes and Well, what are you looking forward to in in the future? Is there something coming up um say an an outing or an event that is getting uh you excited? Yeah, I would like to help plan an outing that would be really good for the participants or something. Like maybe go to a museum or do something fun or bowling or something. Perfect. Well, thank you, Nicole, for sharing your story with us and our viewers. We really appreciate it. And it sounds like you've had a fantastic journey here at PathPoint. Thank you so much. You're watching Nonprofit Spotlight. If you'd like your nonprofit featured in a future nonprofit spotlight, contact us at the information on your screen.